Be bold. Be heard. Welcome to Unmute Your Mic with your host, Jessica Bell. Hello, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Unmute Your Mic. I'm your host, Jessica Bell, and today you've got me. Um, So we have officially done seven episodes of Unmute Your Mic, Every Story Matters. Um, And I want to do a recap. I want to talk a little bit about where we will be going next um, and just some of the things I've learned during this process. Um, So like I said, we have done seven episodes. Um, At the beginning, like I shared before, um, before it's any of this even started, I shared about kind of my heart behind it, why I started it. Um, And I have been so completely blessed. Um, I think it is extremely amazing and beautiful when God kind of puts things together, but it's not effortless. Um, And I did want to share a little bit about that uh, in a little bit, but I did want to say I wanted to be um, very clear that I am so thankful for everybody who has decided to uh, be on the show so far. I have had people share amazing stories of overcoming their testimonies, um, overcoming illnesses, overcoming um, just anything that you can think of. Uh, We've had uh, very candid conversations. We had conversations about being Black in America and what that's like right now, conversations about being single mothers, uh, conversations about divorce, conversations about the church. And so I had no idea that in doing this and in being obedient, that these conversations were really going to bless me and help me move forward in certain areas of my life. Um, So as you guys know, I started Every Story Matters because I felt that it was important to create a platform for people to be able to tell their stories um, and help other people overcome in the process. And so I think a lot of times we have things we want to share, but we don't feel comfortable sharing them or we just don't even know how to share them. Um, And that was me for a lot of times too. I'm a big blogger, definitely didn't um, really want to be on camera. And even when I first got this idea, I was trying to figure out who could I get to host it. Um, But there's a definitely a blessing and being obedient to what God tells you to do and allowing him to use you even when you're unsure. Um, Even starting this and in the seven weeks that it's been, it was extremely difficult. The first like two weeks, um, I had some amazing stories and I couldn't figure out certain things with my audio. Um, And then I figured out my Wi-Fi and it just had to be a lot of different things um, that took place. But what it did was really allow me to continue to lean on and rely on God. I mean, of course, I had amazing people around me who were helping me, Um, but I think it's kind of like a check for me that um, even when God gives us something, when we know we're called to do something, or even if it's just an idea that we simply have to walk out for a specific season, um, that you need to lean on God and never think that you are so knowledgeable or that you know it all, that um, that you can just do it on your own. Because I definitely couldn't. And even when I thought I had things figured out, it was just random things that were happening. Um... But I appreciate the fact that they happen because I'm learning, I'm growing, and it's taught me to be further obedient in the process. Um, But I just, you know, was very passionate about it because I know that it takes a lot to get on the platform and share very vulnerable um, moments and things that have happened in your life. That's not easy. Um, And for me, being a blogger, it sometimes comes off easier because I can write it and not have to to like have the expressions on my face. And so I've learned that in the process of this, people are extremely brave to be able to share what it is that they've overcome. Or some people were still in the act of overcoming, which is why I kind of want to just do this check-in this week and a recap because we have done seven shows and uh, we've heard a lot of different stories. And I don't know about you guys, but for me, it has, it has, changed my perspective on a lot of things and really um one it made me want to uh seek god and know him even more so that i could uh be intentional about the people that i bring on here and about the platforms that are shared um about the about this platform and the things that 
will be shared on it. Um, and also, when I started, I called the show Every Story Matters because everyone's coming on here and they're telling their stories. Um, but because that's a very generic title, um, I kind of wanted to go more with something that was not only different, but more so embodied what I thought this show was. And so my tagline that was Unmute Your Mic is um, a couple of weeks ago, I changed my show title to Unmute Your Mic simply because I wanted this to be a place where people could talk about things that they didn't feel like they could always talk about in other places. And so that will continue to be my goal. Uh, for these next set, set of episodes, I have seven more shows um, that I've recorded some in the process of recording, and I have some amazing stories. Um, I'm going to dig deeper. Um, I have some um, people who have overcome amazing things. I have people that are well known. I have some people who are overcoming illnesses, who are just finding Christ again, who are single mothers, um, who have lived uh, the street life, have street life, and have turned them selves around and all these things that really have encouraged me, which I know will also encourage you. Um, and so that is why um, I kind of did the name shift. So if you see everything says unmute your mic now, um, it is still every story matters. That is still my tagline, but I wanted to be able to personalize it, make it more my own and be able to do different things with the name that I feel like God has placed on my heart. Um, lastly, I just wanted to end this video with a little bit of encouragement. Um, so the last couple of weeks on Thursday nights, I have been a part of a Bible study, which has really been a blessing to me. And in that Bible study, we were talking about joy and happiness and the um, best parts of our life and, our worst, and the worst parts of our life. And we were kind of sharing what we felt was our best parts and our worst part. And I wanted to share this on this platform because I really got a great revelation when we were on there and we were all talking. And it was that, you know, in our stories, we have a lot of things that happen that are good and then they're bad and everything in between. But that if you don't have true joy and happiness within yourself. If you don't know what fulfills you or what makes you happy, you will chase things that will give you a temporary uh, feeling of happiness. And in doing that, you can create some of the saddest moments of your life, even if they're not intentional. And so one thing I've learned with doing uh, Unmute Your Mic and hearing people's stories is that sometimes we have to acknowledge that and there are parts of our stories that could have gone differently had we had done something different. And I think that's a very powerful place to be in self-awareness. And so that's what's happened to me over the course um, over the last seven weeks is being able to hear people's stories, hear parts of my stories that related to it and hear, um, hear things that maybe I could have done differently and things that I will pass on to people who I know in my life and be able to share and mentor, um, with other people. And so I wanted to encourage you to not be um to not be hurt or sad or so disappointed in yourself because maybe you've made a mistake or done something that you're not extremely proud of. Um because God is always present. And so even though yes there are consequences for some of the things that we do, we also have to remember that God is a God that can use any and everything. Um, in the Bible study, I was shared and I was talking about uh, going through divorce and the, uh, different things in my life where initially I had to own up and admit that I entered into these things willingly, right? And that's a lot of us in a lot of different situations. We have entered into things willingly. Um, and so in talking about my divorce, I shared that that was something I entered in on my own, um, but really acknowledging what was it that God was saying beforehand, what was he saying during, and what was my goal when I entered into it? Was it happiness? Was it um, feeling like I was on somebody's time clock and I had to do something? And in that, it took a lot of time for me to have to go through that heal and find true joy and happiness in a season that I'm in now. So I want to encourage anybody who's watching that, anybody who has a story where they feel like there are things in that story that may, it may not be somebody else's fault. Like you may have entered it or done it 
on your own, I want to encourage you and empower you to know that you can come out of that better than you were before. And you can use every part of your story to move forward and go into what it is that God has called you to go into. Um, that is what I want you guys to remember. And that is what I want you guys to get when you are hearing these stories and people are sharing uh, the things that they've gone through. Mm-hmm. That God can and will use everything, even when you make mistakes and even when you choose to do something. And that our happiest moments um, can stem from some of our darkest places. And staying close to God, being obedient and hearing his voice um, so that we start making decisions that are exactly what it, what God uh, wants us to do and going towards the purpose of our life. That is what is important. And I love you guys. I thank everybody for tuning in, for sharing. Um, I have amazing things coming up and I'm super excited. Uh, Also, feel free to subscribe to the YouTube page. I'm going to be doing some giveaways on there um, uh, in about a week or two. So I'm super excited about that. Um, And yeah, if you guys uh, want anything, you need to contact me. My email, all my information is below. I have uh, been extremely blessed by the people who have reached out for me, by the prayer, um, by um, the events that I've booked to speak at, because God is just using me in an amazing way. And I have to get out of my way to allow him to do that. And so I just want to encourage you guys to do that as well. Um, I love you guys. I will see you guys next week. I have somebody super amazing. I'm going to be doing more promotion throughout the week so you guys can get to know the people that I'm bringing on my show. Um, I want to give a special shout out to um, my dad who does my uh, vocals. He is also the co-producer to Austin who has been doing my editing. You guys, my show would not run without you. So I love you guys and I thank you and I sincerely um, appreciate everything you guys have done. Thank you guys for watching. I'm excited to see you all next week. Please reach out to me if you have any questions, uh, suggestions on topics to talk about because I also want to start doing more honed in topics. So I know next season we have dating after divorce, which is a big one. We have, um, we're talking about single moms. We are talking to law enforcement in, in Kansas city. Um, and a couple other ones I'm super excited about. So if you guys have any ideas, stuff you want to cover, um, let me know. I love you guys and I will see you all next week. Goodbye. Thank you for tuning in to Unmute Your Mic. Be sure to tune in next time when Jessica takes her mic off mute as she continues her journey to find stories that inspire and uplift our communities.